Hello, I'm going to do a little bit of a show and tell for you today. So to start with, I'm just going to give you a little bit of an insight into what I'll be talking about. Hello, for this show and tell, I'm going to go through a few items that I've got that I've not done any videos with properly as yet. So I'm going to start off with some rimless spectacles. I've got a few pairs of rimless to show you. Now this particular rimless, it's a stainless steel frame. So we've got the separate bridge and the pads, and then we've got the sides. Now with these sides, the sides are actually held together. There's no screws for that joint. In fact, this particular frame, there's no screws whatsoever. When, it's, when it goes on, These are actually a very focal lens inside it. And you can see it's a wrap around side. This particular one is in just a standard closed frame. The next rimless I've got is in a, a black case. This one's quite a lot deeper in lens shape. And this one does have screws, but it's only the screws on the joint itself. The pads are pushing, they're pushing pads. And it's got separate bridge to sides and where it joins onto the lens, it's got two holes for each part and they're plugs, silicon plugs that hold them in together. And again, you can see the, the way it works. The next rimless pair I have this one's got a Velcro fastening case. This one again is plugs, pushing pads, and it does have one screw on each joint. It's a little bit um, flatter side and a little bit, a bit more body to the side. It's fastened in exactly the same way. In fact, very similar in shape for the lenses. And I have one more. Now this one's a little bit different in shape. It's a flat base and the lenses uh, the frame sits in in the top which is quite deep it's a un very unusual shape now this lens is a little bit deeper it's got a screw for the joint it does actually have a couple of screws into the side as well for this fancy bit of gold at the side. You've got plugs, the same as on all the others, and you've got pushing pads. You can see that's quite a bit bigger. Yeah. 
Right, my next subject is the tuning forks. You can see the tuning forks here. They are actually numbered and lettered. But I'll go into that with more detail in the future. this one the first one was 2048c this one's 124c you'll see that's a slightly higher pitch the next one is 512c you see that's quite a lot longer That one is a much lower pitch. Now you'll notice the next one, 256C, is a slightly different shape with the notches at the top. So for this one, you would knock it to get the sound. And finally, for the next one, this one is 128C. And you can see they come in a nice case that closes up and zips up. Now I've got something a little bit different. I've got two pairs of these and these are called driving glasses. The first thing you'll notice, they're not a tint, they're a coating, but they're yellow. Now this particular one is called an over specs glasses. And so you've got the depth at the side here. And this will go, it's designed to go over any pair of specs as long as the frame the lens size isn't any bigger. When you put these on, everything is much brighter. But as I look at the lights, I, it takes away the glare. The next one is designed as a spectacles. Again, with the yellow coating, but this time it doesn't have the depth. But this is so large that it will go over most spectacles but then it sits a little bit lower. With this particular one, it's good for wearing on its own or over your spectacles. And again, it has the same effect with the lenses. Now, both of these are daytime driving lenses. They take away enough of the light that um, it would be an offense to use them for driving at night, but you can get night driving glasses as well, where it's, yellow coating like them but it's a much lighter yellow coating next i've got some drops little eye drops this there are actually five different versions of these um evolve every day this is good for um general use it gives effective relief from dry eyes, contact lens friendly, and you can use it for up to three months once you've opened it. Very, very easy to use. It comes in a little bottle, and the bottle is labeled, so it's actually labeled Evolve every day. Very simple. You undo the cap, hold the bottle over your eye, tip your head back. If you shut one, if you shut the opposite eye, bring this so that the tip is opposite in front of your pupil. And then when you open both eyes, look up and squeeze the bottle. One drop will come out and that will go into your eye and it shouldn't have any wastage at all then.
So that one's every day. The next one is to soothe and renew. So if you get really itchy eyes or anything like that, again, contact lens friendly. They're long lasting relief and they can be used for up to three months after opening. Um, really simple. They're, they are color coded. So these are for itchy eyes. So again, it comes in the same type of bottle but this time it's got a different colour label and again it's also um, telling you on the bottle that it's Evolve Soothe and Relief. The next one is for Quick Relief. So this is a much faster acting drop. So let's just say you get something hit you in the eye and you want a very quick relief, you've got this one. Um, use it exactly the same way as the others. This one has got a purple label and it tells you that it's quick relief. The next one is the dry eye maximum strength. So if you get severely dry eyes, you'd use this. The ideal times to start with, definitely first thing in the morning and last thing in the evening. When you get into bed, put the drops in. Before you get out of bed, put the drops in. Uh, one of the easiest ways to maximize its use and to make it prevention rather than cure is make notes when you first notice you've got dry eyes of the times that you become dry eyed that way you can um, put the drops in before you, your eyes are dry and then you uh, you're making it a lot more comfortable for yourself so that one has got a yellow label and the final drop is the Evolve Repair and Protect. And this one does what it says. It helps to repair and protect your eyes. This has got a very dark green label and it tells you that it's Repair and Protect. And again, you'd use it in exactly the same way as you would the other drops. Next, I've got a nice little treat for you. I've got some prosthetic eyes. These are little glass eyes. I've got to be careful not to drop them because if I drop them, they will break. And there's several different colors. And everybody's eyes are different. So for example, here I have that one's a hazel eye, but you'll also notice it's got vascular growth around it painted on it. So you'll see the little red veins painted on there. And it shows the pupil, everything. This one is a much brighter coloured hazel. And this one has got little spots of red painted on. All this shows that you can have them matched to give a perfect match to your other eye. Now we have one that is um, a brown eye or hazel eye, but it's bordering onto a yellow eye. So they're very, very light. So this is showing it for somebody who's got much less pigment. And then we come on to the darkest brown one I've got. Now going on to another colour, I've got grey lenses, so this one, this one is very grey, it's quite dark. And again it's got quite a bit of vascular growth painted on around the eye. And then we've got what's, what's called a misty grey. 
you see how light that grey is you can actually buy contact lenses in that colour my next one is a baby blue a nice bright blue eye and as we move on next you'll notice this one has got two tone it's got like a very light green in the middle then a darker green almost turquoise on the outside edges this one is definitely a turquoise lens if you look at it from one direction it almost looks blue but from the other direction it almost looks green and this one is a very very light green eye next I'm moving on to the Sheridan Gardner test now this is unique for people who don't know their letters they can point to what they see so I can hold up this card which you'll see is clear and with this one I can actually see what letter is being pointed to so if they say if they point to the out I'm actually seeing it without having to look around so they want the T the H the V etc what the patient has to see for the Sheridan Gardener is a card so they hold this I, I would hold this in front of them and ask them what the letter is and their response would be to point to that letter so it has several cards that first one is size 60 so I would hold open it up and that's what you've got so they would point to the O which I would see the next one is size 38 now these are equivalent to the sizes on a Schnellen chart which is what they use in the test rooms so it's the size of the lettering and it's worked out to what according to meters so if it says 60 that's the equivalent of what what you should be able to see if you've got 20 20 vision at 60 meters away so this next one is 24 so that's the equivalent of what you should see at 24 meters away this one is at 18 meters away and you'll notice now it's starting to get quite a bit smaller the next one is at 18 meters away next one at 12 meters away we'll just keep going now and this next one is also 12 meters away next is nine meters and also nine meters the whole idea of having extras is so that somebody can't memorize the letters you wouldn't show all of them so that one again is at nine now these are at six meters so this is the equivalent to 2020 vision another one and finally the last one so that would be your distance letters this next one is showing the letters at different sizes but also it shows it with contrast as well so starting with this one this would be your reading distance so you can see TVO and so on as you go down but you'll notice the letters get fainter and fainter and if we go on to the other side it has fewer of the lettering but again as you get down the bottom they're very very faint now 
Next in we have some supplement tablets. These are called Vitrata, Vitra Caps. And they come in a bubble pack. And you'd remove the tablets as and when you wanted them. You can see that they're a funny colour. Now a Vitra Cap, the Vitra Caps uh, are designed to supplement your diet to help your eyes um, for specific micronutrients. Their main components are as follows. Zinc plays an important role in the body's antioxidant defense system, including that of the eye. It contributes to the maintenance of normal vision and supports the metabolism of vitamin A, another nutrient that supports normal vision. Vitamin C contributes to normal collagen formation in the body, supporting normal function of the skin and gums. Vis vitamin C along with the zinc helps protect cells from antioxidants. Stress vi Vitrocap also contains precious phytochemicals that are obtained from grape seed extracts. They're an essential amino acid which the human body cannot produce by itself. One of the tests that this helps with, when looking at the, sh when you look at this chart, there are different shapes. And on these different shapes, you'll see that there's a number next to them. When you're looking at these, they're for your contrast. If you see anything from seven to 10, that's good. If you're able to see the shapes from four to six, that's average. And from one to three, that's bad, if that's all you can see. So number one is a triangle. Number two is a square. Number three is a cross uh, and so on. So if I went up to number seven, I can see that that's a square. And number eight is a triangle. So straight away, we know that my vision for contrast is good. We also have an Amsler grid test. Now the Amsler grid test is designed with near vision in mind and what happens is you cover one eye and you look at the grid and what you're looking for you, you're staring at the centre spot and as you're staring at the centre spot all of the lines should be straight and the squares should be properly squares. Um, no break up, no holes on the grid. And if that's fine, you then check the other eye. And again, you're looking at it exactly the same way. If you find that you've got distorted lines or any parts of the grid is missing, you then report that immediately to your GP or to your optometrist if you can get hold of them straight away. Very urgent that you get it sorted straight away. Now I've got something special. I've got some prism spectacles. With these, as you look at them now, as I hold them that way, all you see is the spectacle frame but you see little triangles or little rectangles sitting down as I lift the specs up in order to put them on so if I take my normal specs off and put these on now for me to see the camera I've got to tip my head all the way back to here so the idea of this is that I can look down and I can see what's on this table And if I put this in front of the camera, you can see that it's looking down. I can see my hand on the table.
all right so it's designed as I think a, a good description for that would be lazy reader if you're in bed and you want to watch the television you don't feel like sitting up you put the glasses on and you're looking straight down at the TV good example or you can watch your feet so you're sitting at you're sitting down you want to read but you can't move your head for any reason you can look straight down and read without having to move your, your chin 